the red badge of courage, riding the cotton pony, Auntie Flo is in town, and of course, Shark Week. How fun! If only having your period was as much fun as the nicknames we have for it. For a lot of ladies, surfing the crimson wave is anything but tubular. So why exactly can periods be so freaking painful? The medical name for period pain is dysmenorrhea, which is probably the least fun sounding name ever. It happens when contractions in your uterus are brought on by a class of chemicals called prostaglandins. They're like hormones, except instead of being produced by a remote gland and then delivered through the bloodstream, prostaglandins can be made on site by nearly any organ in your body. After you ovulate without getting an egg fertilized, Prostaglandins are released to help the uterus shed its lining, aka receiving Mother Nature's gift or checking into the red roof in. Women who have higher levels of prostaglandins can experience more intense contractions during their periods. In fact, these contractions can be strong enough to put pressure on the surrounding blood vessels, disrupting the flow of oxygen to the uterus. If you feel awful when you can't get enough oxygen, imagine how your uterus feels. The result of crazy contractions and lack of oxygen is those awful, no good, very bad cramps. And for many, cramps are accompanied by fatigue, lower back and leg pain, diarrhea, headaches, and or vomiting. And that's if you're lucky enough to not have other medical conditions working against you. Uterine fibroids, endometriosis, IUDs, and ovarian cysts are just a few other factors that can cause or worsen period pain. It doesn't get discussed openly enough, but period pain is extremely common and can also be terribly disruptive to many women's lives. Most ladies have experienced at least some unpleasant symptom from getting their period at some point in their lives. And if you're one of those ladies who hasn't ever experienced pain, we kindly suggest to you, keep that to yourself. Also, some experts estimate that around 10% of women actually become temporarily disabled from period pain. You know, like when you can't even feed yourself and you end up spending a day in the fetal position. Yeah, like that. Studies have shown that women who go through puberty at a young age, roughly age 11 or below, tend to be more likely to suffer from period pain. Adult women who have heavier periods, smoke or drink alcohol, or women who are overweight can feel the full wrath of Aunt Flo too. As if that weren't enough, there's also the ever popular premenstrual breast pain. Changes in your estrogen and progesterone levels is the reason why you might feel pain and tenderness in your love pillows just before your period is about to arrive. In the back half of your monthly cycle, also known as the luteal phase, estrogen and progesterone levels rise in anticipation of a possible embryo being implanted in the uterus. Estrogen reaches its peak in the middle of your cycle, around day 14, causing your breast ducts to swell. Then, in the next week leading up to your period, progesterone tells your milk glands to get larger. It's a whole lot of work for a potential baby that is nowhere close to existing. But them's the breaks. Your boobs actually have built-in receptors for these two hormones. So once the estrogen and progesterone start flooding the scene, there's a good chance you're gonna feel some breast swelling as a result. And if you don't notice, your partner probably will. Hey yo! In closing, if you're dealing with pain during your period, breast tenderness before your period, or if you're hashtag blessed with both, the good news is that you're not alone. Don't be shy about talking about your personal Shark Week struggles. Talking about it is the only way to end the stigma of our secret pain. Of course, sisterhood solidarity doesn't make cramps go away, but strength in numbers is always a good game plan.